Hi everybody, today I'd like to show you an Oricon RA31 amplifier. These were used back in the 50s and 60s to record optical sound tracks on 16mm film uh, along with the uh, optical sound recording camera. So this particular amplifier is shown today in its trade dress with its original battery box and I have it connected here with a uh, custom test jig which allows me to measure and see the audio and other signals going to the gallo. We have a mic level signal coming into the amplifier so we can hear some sound. A little music from the radio. So uh, what I'd like to show you today is how this amplifier can be used to operate with modern batteries. Uh, I've created uh, the normal original batteries were used in the box here and held in the bottom there's a compartment and I have created a battery board which allows uh, original the original space to be used for modern flashlight batteries so this board uh, uses 10 9 volt batteries one D cell and eight C size batteries and I'll just go ahead and take this out take away the box. So this is something that can build, be built up for about uh, $25 worth of parts, excluding the uh, printed circuit board I have here, and uh, excluding batteries. So it connects up using uh, binding posts and also the original battery snaps. So this battery harness from the amplifier has been modified with uh, some spade lugs here to connect to the binding post for the exposure and filament batteries and then also the original snaps have been maintained for the uh, 90 volt B battery. So the best way to hook this thing up safely is to uh, start with everything disconnected then and the batteries removed and then hook up that wiring harness then install the batteries and the best way to install them is first the D cell which snaps into this plastic holder then the A to C cells for the exposure battery the exposure lamp rather and then once all those are in place, then you can snap up the uh, 10 D cell, or sorry, 10 9 volt batteries. This particular one, I've also included an on off switch, so the 9 volt, or sorry, the 90 volts can be disconnected. And there's also an indicator light here, which allows you to know if the 90 volts is switched on. So I switch it off, the lamp goes off, and then these two contacts here are perfectly safe to touch and handle. Go ahead and switch it back on. And the amplifier is now functional. So the printed circuit board isn't totally necessary to use. You can just use a piece of plywood. I built the prototype using that, as a matter of fact. Um, so the wiring on the back is very simple, and you could you know, easily do this with just wires. The 9-volt uh, batteries are held in place with Velcro strips, and I've also got some anti-skid pads between the layers of batteries. You can see there's two stacks of five each and these keep the batteries from sliding around so once they're strapped in it's really secure they're not they're not moving in normal handling so hope that was interesting and you find it useful to create your own uh, visit oricon sound uh, group on groups.io and you can find the documentation for this thanks very much